Hello then, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first episode of this Derby County Football Manager Save. Shall we jump across to the press conference? Welcome to Derby County then, Lewis Everett. You have been appointed as the new manager of Derby County, taking over from Paul Warren for the 23-24 Championship campaign. What can we expect from you and your staff and the team going forwards into the start of this Championship campaign? Right, well, there's a lot to be proud of. Obviously, the work Paul Warren has done over the past 12 months has been unbelievable, getting Derby County promoted and a, a brilliant rebuild after the administration period under David Clowes. And what David Clowes has done as the owner has been absolutely excellent. Stephen Pearce as well has done a really good job. What you can expect from me and the boys is we're going to play attacking, high-tempo football. We're going to be looking to hit teams. We're going to be looking to go at teams. And understandably, I know the fans may be thinking a little bit worried about that but ultimately we've got to go out and pick up three points we've got to go out and win games if we want to be a successful team in this division we've got to take the game to them are we going to be expecting to see any transfers heading into the start of this season what are you thinking about the squad what things would you like to change is there anything you want to change let me know well, of course, you always want to put your spin on the squad. You always want to put your spin on the team, whether that be by system or by formation, whether it be by tactical style or even players. But for me, I'm going to be taking a big, deep look into the academy setup that we've got at Derby County. The likes of Cruz Allen, Dejon Brown, Niall McAndrew, all players who I can think can make that step up to the first team over the course of the next few years. Now, obviously, I know some of the fans may be wanting some extra players, especially in the striking department. I think we're a little bit like there, but it's something which we're going to look at over the course of this first season and uh, obviously right now uh, we're just going to be looking intrinsically to see what we can do with what we have available to us and then as we head towards January uh, let me know what players you think we should sign over in the media as fans let me know down in the comments but for me I'm going to be sticking with what we've got for now. So then, Lewis, what are your expectations for staying in this division? What are your expectations for the championship this season? And maybe even what are your expectations for the cup games? Now, obviously, I want to temper expectations with the fans' early doors. Obviously, it's our first season in the championship. We have got some really good players within the squad, the likes of Vidal Zetterstrom, Nat Phillips, Cashin, uh, Mendez Lang. We've got some really good players available to us and for our selection. But what we've got to do is we've got to make sure that we're careful with what we're doing. We can't be uh, expecting too much too soon. Now, in the cup competition, so long as we give a good show for ourselves, I'm going to be perfectly happy. I want to give the youngsters valid opportunities to get themselves into the team whether that be for championship games or cup games now obviously these players will have their own time frame uh, with getting into the squad but that's going to be it for this news conference obviously we're going to be keeping across the entire season make sure you hit that subscribe button down below hit the like button as well let me know your thoughts down in the comments let's get in to the save so obviously derby county are a very big club for the, the scale of the championship, obviously, recently got promoted from League One under Paul Warren. We're going to be looking to stay in the championship. We're going to be looking to look at our youth facilities and look at our youth academy and bring those players forward. Obviously, the likes of Mark Thomas as director of football, Richie Barker as assistant manager. All these things are going to be looked at for coaches, analysts, scouts, all things like that are all going to be looked at and adjusted. Now, obviously, David Clowes is the owner. You look at some of the players in the squad, the likes of Marcus Harnish, Jerry Yates, Mendez Lang, Nat Phillips, uh, Ibu Adams, some really, really good players uh, in this squad. It's going to be really interesting to see uh, how we can get them playing. Now, as we get into this, obviously, what do Derby County want us to do? They want us to develop players using the club's youth system, play entertaining football, work within the wage budget, all things which I think I'm going to be able to do. And the end of the current season, avoid relegation, be competitive in the FA Cup and competitive in the Carabao Cup. Now, my contract expires at the end of next season. Uh, so shall we see what we can do? Obviously, these are uh, the club visions and the cultures and what we need to expect. Now, do we need to do a press conference? You will already seen the press conference. Um, we won't do an inter-squad friendly and we'll do that every month. Now, let's look at the squad then. We've got some really, really good players in this squad. Now, uh, the main ones for me, Aaron Cashin is a player who I want to keep hold of. The likes of Ryan Niambi, very, very good player. You look at Kenzo Holdmine, Ibu Adams, Corey Blackett-Taylor. These are all players who I want to get a tune out of. Obviously, Jerry Yates as well, but... What is the tactic that we're going to use to make that happen? Now, 
we're going to create our own style and we'll just click confirm like that for now what we are going to do uh, as derby county is what i think we should be doing in real life i think uh, you play two wingers a sitting midfielder and uh, two two ahead of him and one main striker as a deep line forward on attack uh, you want an inside forward on the right winger on the left and then i want two wing backs both on support ball playing defenders uh, ball playing defenders one on cover one on defend and then a goalkeeper on sweeper keeper we want the man in the midfield who's going to be holding it down to be playing as a ball winning midfielder on support we then want a box to box midfielder and an advanced playmaker on attack. Now, if we look at the mentality, obviously, looking into this season, a lot of you are going to be thinking, we're in the championship. What are we going to do? Now, for me, you've got to go attacking or positive. I'm going to pick positive for this one, just because we're probably one of the lesser quality teams um, in, this, in this league, and that's okay. Uh, we are going to set up to overlap on both sides and play out of defence. We're going to go for shorter passing, but at a much higher tempo. We're going to look to hit uh, early crosses, we are, and we're going to play for set pieces. Obviously, you'll know Derby County in real life are really good at those set pieces. We're going to leave some of the rest of this short. We're going to leave the pass into space off as well, just for now. Then when we lose possession, what am I wanting us to do? We're going to want to counter press. And then when we win possession, we're going to want to counter. And when the goalkeeper has the ball... I want to distribute to my centre-backs. That is what I want. I'll leave the keeper to decide how he does that, but I want the ball at my centre-back's feet. When we go into the out-of-possession stuff, I want us on a higher, deeper line. I want on a high press. I want us to trigger the press as often as possible and to prevent the opposition distributing the ball short. Now, that is what we're going to do. Now, what is going to be our best team? Now, uh, we're obviously going to put Jakob Zetterstrom within the sticks. We're going to go right in the ambient, right back. Uh, it's going to be Curtis Nelson and Erin Cashin to start the season as centre-backs. At left-back, we'll probably start off with Craig Forsyth, but that may change throughout the season. Ebo Adams is going to go into that holding midfield role uh, with Kenzo Holdmine in the advanced playmaker role and Liam Thompson in that left central midfield role. If we're going to be looking at the forward line, I want Mender, I want Caden Jackson on the right. I want... Uh, mm, I might actually change this around. Caden Jackson on the left. I want Mendes Lang on the right. And then up front, Jerry Yates. Now, obviously, you'll probably notice that not all our players are in here because we're going to go down to the dev centre where we're going to find uh, Tawanda Chiwa and David Ozo, both players who are going to get pulled up to the first team. What other players do you think we could pull up? Let's take a look at the reports where are the reports let's see which players have really high potential jack thompson really high potential player dan cox tony weston jake rooney he's a player who's going to get moved into the senior squad let's take a look at what we have in the under 18s as well the likes of cruz allen jack perry players who may make the step up throughout the course of the season obviously dejon brown doesn't seem to have a good rating but we're going to move him up to the senior squad anyway because that's where he is in real life now we're going to accept all the current visions and things like that. In the next episode, we're going to be uh, heading into the first game of the season. You've obviously seen the squad we've got available to us. You've seen the tactic we've got. And you've seen what the plans are for this season. But what is going to happen heading into that opening day of the season? If we look at the schedule, it's versus Swansea City on the 5th of August. Make sure you're back in two days' time for that video. Four o'clock, it will drop. So make sure you're back. If you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all my gaming content which is coming on the channel. You'll probably have already noticed we're doing a GTA 5 walkthrough as well. We're going to also be playing through uh, Football Manager every couple of days as well. So we're going to be posting daily on the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Make sure you hit that like button as well. And I'll catch you in the next episode.